Hello my friends. Today I was hoping to share a skill that I call delving. This is a nature awareness meditation and it uses some of the skills that we've talked about in past videos recently. There are so many wilderness and bushcraft skills to learn. Starting fire with that hand drill, hunting, and fishing, and cooking techniques. But often what's missing is this deep connection with the environment that we're in. In urban areas, we often call this situational awareness. Without that situational awareness, we are in the dark. We're not aware of potential dangers. We're not aware of potential opportunities. We're simply not aware of our environment. In the forest, the desert, the fields, the ocean, the more we can be aware of our environment, the more we are cognizant of the dangers, of the opportunities, of the environment that we are now a part of. Delving allows us to go much deeper into our connection with the environment so that we are simply more aware of what animals are present, of the plants, of mushrooms, of everything that's coming into our senses that ties us in with the environment that we're currently in. And I actually recommend this if you are camping, backpacking, doing a bushcraft excursion, whatever it is, when you first come to a place that's going to be your camp, if you're like me, I know that urge is to start getting down to business, setting up a place for the fire, setting up our sleeping roll or tent, whatever it's going to be, building a shelter. Here's another option to spend even just 10 minutes delving. And I think that your experience will be much different than if you hadn't done this. To do this, we are going to get into a meditative posture, whatever that is for you. It can be lying down on the ground, but I'm often going to choose sitting up. And the reason is that often people think of meditation as just relaxation. After that hard day's hike and you've come to your camp, you lay down on the ground, it may be very easy to just fall asleep. Here, we're trying to be relaxed, but also very aware, very poised. Meditative relaxation is completely different than a falling asleep relaxation because it is alert. Now realize that our conscious mind that we've been taught is our most powerful tool is actually perhaps the weakest part of our mind. We're very used to walking into an area and assessing. All right, what are my resources here? I'm going to look at the trees. I'm going to look at the ground cover. I'm going to look at tracks. This is a very conscious, it's a very assessing, and a very resource-based approach. There's nothing wrong with that, but there's great power in our unconscious mind. Our unconscious mind can take in so much more about this environment than our conscious mind and can do so in an almost magical way. As you are hiking in, you may have seen things in your peripheral vision, say wild leeks, but you didn't note them consciously. It's during your delving process that you may suddenly have a feeling, an intuition, that there are leaks over in one direction. This is not magic so much as it is awareness, tapping into that unconsciousness. With that in mind, we are in our relaxed yet poised position and we begin to open our senses. Open up your sense of smell. What do you smell? Our sense of smell, we're told, is very weak. And yet, when people spend enough time in the woods, they'll begin to smell mushrooms. They'll know which way the wind is coming, and they'll be able to walk over and find, wow, there's a whole bunch of chanterelles. 
I couldn't see them, but I could smell them. It's going to happen with rain coming. You smell something. You don't even recognize the scent. And yet, you have a sudden inkling that rain is coming. You might smell fox or bear and just have a sense that there is bear in the area, even though you can't consciously smell it. So we're just opening up our sense of smell. And very important when we open up our senses that we're just giving our fullest awareness to that sense. We're not assessing, we're not judging or labeling or saying, oh, I think I smell that. Could that be this? Could that be that? Simply opening yourself to that sense of smell and allowing you to become that sense of smell. Do it with your sense of hearing, letting your hearing spread out over the hills. It can go so far in the sense that our hearing can pick up sounds from far, far away. And our ears are designed so that we're more aware than our conscious mind knows of the direction of those sounds. Again, don't label, oh, I hear blue jay, I hear this. Just open up to that sense of hearing. Do it with your sense of touch. Let that sense of touch come alive. Feel the wind. You don't have to note its direction consciously. You'll unconsciously start feeling this. Just feel the wind, feel the moisture of the ground. Sometimes I will put my hands down into the soil and just feel as if those roots going down. When I do this here, I can feel, oh, I know there's been rain here lately because the soil is very moist and cool. And that's going to tell me a lot of things. I can assess this in a conscious way and say, well, it's springtime and there was a recent rain and sun. There's going to be more wild edibles popping up here in the next week. Or I can just for this exercise, take it unconsciously. Just experience that sense of touch. And then our sense of vision. Be aware of our peripheral to the sides, our peripheral up and down. And open up your sense of vision so it's taking in the whole scene around you. You can let your head slowly turn left, right, up and down. You don't have to consciously direct it, just allow it to move wherever it wants to go. When all of your senses are opened up, you've done it in turn and then allow them all to be open, you have begun that delving process. You are in the delving meditation. And the key here is to sit for some amount of time in that state of simple awareness. Your mind probably will judge. If you're very familiar with the forest, you'll say, oh, I hear chickadee. Oh, there, I hear blue jay, an alarm call. What's that? For right now, just see if you can come back to your senses. Every time your mind tries to label something, come back into that relaxed, aware state and just be in your senses. What's happening? is that your unconscious mind is picking up on all sorts of cues. As our mind is simultaneously focused and yet quiet and open, then it goes into a state where it can intake a massive amount of information. This information comes in, and again, most of it may never come to our conscious mind. But when you come out of the delving, you are going to be more at home, more aware, and you might find that you simply know things about the environment that defy easy explanation. Be aware that your mind will probably wander. It may go off into thoughts. It may become very distracted by visuals. It might hear something, that alarm call, and become a little over vigilant. In this poised, relaxed, aware state, we are actually more aware and vigilant than when we focus. 
That's why distractions work so well in a lot of woods games. I hear something there and I'm focused. I'm trying to see what it is. Someone can sneak up on me over here and I'm often not aware because I'm so focused. So focus is necessary, but focused is necessary to stay focused on our awareness. Stay in that awareness state and to notice when our mind goes off to think about, oh, worldly things, to think about the football game, to think about whatever it's going to go off and think about. You know, our minds can go on to crazy tangents. Every time it does, try to come back to your senses. With those visuals that become so distracting, remember that you can always close your eyes and come back and really focus on your hearing. Our hearing can be a magical sense that takes us out of our usual state of mind and into a state of awareness. For a lot of people, it's like that. Delving is not just something that makes you aware of this environment. Every time you do it, it adds one more drop into your mindfulness container, into your situational awareness container. And that little bit of drop, that builds up over time. And it leads us more and more into a state of mind where we are not clouded by all sorts of random thoughts. Where we are aware of our environment and what's going on. And where when we focus on something, we hear that alarm call, we're able to look and be aware, but still be in our peripheral vision and in our peripheral hearing, in our peripheral awareness. My friends, I would love to hear from you. The next time you're on an outing, if you spend even just 10 minutes delving before you start making up your camp, do you have a different experience? If you try it a few times, do you start to have some experiences of odd awareness that you can't explain, knowing that you're going to find firewood over there, knowing that there's a birch tree to start your fire over there, or chaga mushroom over that hill? That's the kind of awareness that can begin to develop if we learn this skill of open, poised, awareness. Share in the comments if you already do something like this or if you try it, what your experience is. As always, I love hearing from you. Love to you all. We'll talk with you in the comments. Yeah.